This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou, and welcome to Halls of Hegra in about 3 minutes. Review copy used. This is a solo only game. Its playing time is long, and it's a rather complex game. It's April 1940, Norway is being invaded by the Nazis. In the north of the country you remember an old abandoned fortress exists. Can you make it ready and hold back the invaders? The game lasts for 11 turns and ends with the last stand. There are also 4 stages of the game, starting with mobilization and moving through the siege. You win the game if enough defenders survive the last stand, and you lose if the surrender track advances here. Action Programming You place all your tokens onto the board and then resolve their actions. Play a turn. Each turn will start with drawing an event card from the matching stage deck shown here. The card shows the weather and then has instructions to carry out. This one also adds purple dart tokens to the bag matching the number here. You then recruit. You may draw up to 4 discs from the bag one at a time, stopping whenever you want. If you draw all 4 recruits, keep them all. But if you ever draw a purple token, you must choose only one recruit to keep. If you draw a purple first, recruit the next token drawn. Recruits go to your active pool. On all turns except the first, you will have tired tokens. You may spend supplies to move them to ready. The amount move per supplier shown here and goes down as the siege progresses. Now you can place your tokens on the board. Each circle is an action place. One token here will resolve this action once. The green token is doubly effective here as shown by this symbol. And this space requires two tokens. The black amount of token cannot be used on any of these actions. Once you have placed all the tokens you wish, you resolve them in this order. Opening a new supply route lets you place three of the remaining supply tokens onto the supply board. Negotiate lets us lower fear or doubt by one. Once an action is resolved, place the token in the tired spot here. Supply runs are next, with each new token being added to the bottom. Tokens can then move as fast as the weather shows in spaces, one less if they have a supply marker. Token and camps are safe, and soldier tokens can engage the German patrols and possibly beat them. Each supply token returned to the fort adds two supplies, plus its bonus. Here that's another supply. Morale also goes up one step. Shoveling stone moves this marker, which can reveal new one-off bonuses or hidden rooms. Those rooms are placed in their spots on the board with a damage token. Repair lets you remove damage, which is how you make the artillery and other rooms work, as well as repair damage from enemy attacks. Then resolve the infirmary with patients and beds improving and those in the waiting area getting worse. Then based on where the morale token is, draw and resolve cards and then reset that track. On turn 4, flip this board over and resolve enemy attacks with dice rolls. The game gets more involved and deadly as the siege progresses. Aggressors. and the Germans will also recruit artillery and deploy bombers. Survive as long as you can. Why would you like this game? Halls of Hegra is not your normal war game. It deals with logistics, planning, managing scarcity and digging more than it does actual fighting. It's the most Eurogamey war game I have ever played, which surprisingly gives it an incredibly holistic view of armed conflict. Game wise, it's all about deciding how to spend your limited resources each turn. But unlike most games on the market, in Halls of Hegra your situation keeps deteriorating. By the time the siege is on properly, you'll be wondering if you have enough supplies and people to make it to next turn, let alone the end of the game. It's probably the best siege game I've played and the stages really feel like the Germans are constantly upping the pressure. I'd recommend it to any solo gamer who wants a real challenge, as it's a deep and unforgiving game that really makes you think. Well, the best thing about this game is how it evolves. Your day 9 concerns are so different from the ones you had on day 1. However, war is not a theme for everyone, and I get that. And this particular scenario is a grim one, because the victory condition isn't to win, it's to surrender with dignity. And even that's staggeringly hard to do. I personally have not won a game yet, after numerous attempts. For a different type of accessible solo war game, try Pavlov's House. And for a game about civilians in war, try this war of mine. Halls of Hegra. Gandalf ain't coming this time. Gold medal game. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.